All right, happy Friday. It is April 6, 2018. How is everybody? Hope you had an awesome week. All right, so today is going to be part two of developing style, whether you're a musician, a singer, a singer-songwriter, music producer, doesn't really matter. First off, you have to understand this concept. Making music is muscle memory, just like learning how to shoot a free throw, learning how to count and do math, adding and subtracting, learning English, learning how to read. All that is repetition. Repetition is the father of learning. So that works with music too. <clears throat> so basically, you know, if you want to be a great piano player, practice the piano every day, make it a passion. You have to become disciplined. You have to do it constantly. You have to become obsessed with it. If you really want to take it to the next level, you have to push yourself to the next level. All right? So if you want to be a great singer, then you need to practice singing all the time. You need to be practicing your scales. You need to practice your inflection. You need to practice breath control. You need to practice pitch. You need to practice rhythm, enunciation. If you want to be a guitar player, practice the guitar, etc. All right? You need to practice, practice, practice. You look at all the greatest musicians of all time, doesn't matter what generation, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. All the greatest artists of those genres have extreme, <clears throat> excuse me, they have extreme confidence. Now, you're born with confidence. But you also acquire that confidence through practice. Practice, practice, practice. All right? So, how do you acquire confidence through practice? Well, it's because you're, it's kind of like a computer and, and they, uh, I believe it's like they track cookies or whatever. Every time you go to a website, that website, that website should open up quicker each time. It should kind of process everything a little bit faster. Well, that's what's happening, too, on a scientific level, you know. Your brain is developing a stronger connection with whatever you're, the activity that you're doing. So if you're making music, the more you do it, a stronger bond you're developing with that activity. So you can start doing it quicker, you can process it quicker, and you can start seeing it from new perspectives. <clears throat> Alright? So extreme confidence. You need to believe absolutely what you're doing you need to have conviction in what you're doing whether you're singing if you're singing you need to sing with conviction that means you need to believe every word if you don't sound like you believe what you're saying no one else will you know so same thing with a guitar player you can't be timid same thing with a piano player you know even if you have nerves everyone gets nerves it's how you react to the nerves you know even when you're, you're shaky, you're really nervous, you can't control that. But you can't control staying in the moment, staying present, and understanding that that's, that's whatever. That is an influence from the world, but you can still be in the present, living right there. And Alright, so that's some stuff to think about. Another idea is why fit in when you can stand out. If you really want to separate yourself from the crowd... You need to be original. Well, I can tell you right now that there's nothing new under the sun, all right? It's just being recreated in other ways and new ways over over years, all right? So, you kind of draw influences from other things that you like and or dislike. Let's say just like, all right? So, you, you draw influences from things you like. And from there, you kind of could turn that into your own style. If you do it from a place of uh, being intentional, you know, if you know exactly why you're doing this, then it comes across as cool, it comes across as comfortable, as, as in control, you know, you could, people could tell when someone's being a phony, you could smell it, you know, they, you could, once you get called out for it, you'll watch the person crumble, you know, it's, it's all about being genuine. You don't hear that, you don't see that anymore anyways, and most of the time in society, I feel like, you know, let's get back to being genuine, let's be, 
original let's be individuals you know so that's that's the idea of getting your style is being an individual so whether that means the way you dress or it's the way you sing or it's the way you play guitar you know draw your influences from your favorite musicians or life or whatever the case may be and then Use that as a medium, and for instance, to to paint paint cool colors with sound, or come up cool. Basically, what that means is taking a melody, playing a riff, and then trying to get a cool tone out of it, so it doesn't just sound so generic. That means bending the note. That could be doing hammer-ons, pull-offs, playing with expression. So whether you're playing guitar with expression or you're playing piano with expression, that could be from velocity, from playing the notes really light. And then slamming down on the keys really quick and then going back to really light keys, uh, light playing. You know, that creates expression, that creates emotion, feeling. Well, why fit in when you could stand out? You know, so that also could mean if everyone is doing the same thing and it's kind of getting saturated... You kind of get, a, if you kind of take a step back and watch what everyone else is doing, you kind of could draw an influence from one, what they are doing, but then you can also see what they're not doing. It's kind of like a stand-up comedians. I, I, I love comedy and I listen to stand-up comedians all the time and I hear this over and over again where they, you know, they, they start telling jokes and they'll record their sets so they're, while they're practicing and then over six months to a year, they'll take a joke and they'll develop it. You know, that's the same thing with music. You could be taking these. You could be taking these colors that are these riffs, and you could be developing it. You'd be seeing what other people are doing and what they're not doing, and you could see well how can I expand on what they're not doing and then bring it back to what they are doing. You know, that's cool stuff to think about. Ah uh, yeah, so a cool thing. Um, I forgot who said it. It was either Aristotle or Socrates, somebody like that. Plato. They said, each man I meet is superior to me in one way or another. Therefore, I learn from them. Learn from him, whatever. What that means is basically, you know, everyone goes through different life experiences. Everyone has a little bit of knowledge that we might not, each person doesn't have. And if you if you stay open minded or you you listen to them, you can learn something. Now I can relate to that with music all the time. There's been sessions that you know I wasn't sure if um, the session would go well, just because of the personality, uh, the person I'm working with. I'm like I don't know if this is gonna we're gonna work well, and you know what that was all just stuff in my head. And I went along with the session, and I'm glad I did. I learned some really cool stuff, and I found they showed me some really cool music I never heard before, and I ended up using that to make a really dope trap beat for uh, another artist I work with. So that was really cool. Uh, you know, uh, same thing with, you know, it's the same thing goes, like, don't judge a book by, your, by its cover. It's all the same shit, man. So, you know, just when you, when you talk to people, you can learn from anybody. So, you know, you shouldn't count that out. An artist is self-aware. A good artist is self-aware. So take advantage of your emotions. If you've been feeling down or whatever, use that to your advantage. Write. Start getting in the booth and recording. Start recording your guitar, singing, whatever the case may be. But express yourself. Because those moments when you're feeling vulnerable are golden moments. Those are gifts. So take them. Even if they feel, they might not feel like gifts at the moment. If you have the mindset of an artist, you'll see what I'm talking about. Be aware of your surroundings. You can observe from your... F Listen, take everything in, you know. A uh, good expression that I live by is, you know, mm -hmm. I live in the world. I'm not of the world. And so as an artist, I take in... I hear what my friends are saying. I hear what I see on TV, hear on the news, uh, parties, hearing other songs. I observe all that. absorb it. And then I... I when I make music, when I get to songwriting, it naturally just flows out of me. You know, I might remember something one of my friends said that was really funny, and then I could figure out how to write it in a line. Or, you know, I, I hear something I, I heard on the uh, 
I don't know, whatever, the media or something, and I was like, eh, I don't agree with that, whatever the case may be, I could turn that into a song, it's all about how you, you approach each situation that happens in life, you know? You gotta have passion, if you're gonna be a, whether you're a, a guitarist, piano player, a trumpet player, a violinist, a singer, it doesn't matter. You need to have passion. Passion. Uh, just make sure I still have some battery left. I'm at 5%. All right. Passion is is paramount to making music. You can, There's five things I say each song should have that's great as far as some depth, some clarity, punch, passion, and character. Now, passion overrides all those. You could actually have... Poor, poor, the rest of those factors you'd be terrible at. But if the song has intense amount of passion, that will override it. And you'd be like, yeah, this song's not bad. I like it. You know, you can't, it's hard to have a great song if there's no passion. Because people will be like, yeah, it's kind of bland. You know, we, people love music with emotion. Whether it's a happy emotion or a sad emotion. You know, even if it's happy emotion, people want to feel good. People don't want to think about music they don't they just want to have a good time at the party talk to their friends they don't want to be you know I'm not, I'm not when i say people i'm not talking about every single person i'm saying just in general i'm talking generalities here you know people it, we're just we're just having a good time we're, we don't want to be like wow they just went from six eight time to twelve four time or whatever blah 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 you know um you know it's cool in, in groups, but when it gets to like big parties, or whatever, and, and we're talking about the masses of people, just put on the music. Let's have a good time. I want to dance. I want to. I want to scream. Whatever it is. Same thing with characters. A good song usually has character. So character is it stems from your passion. Really, it's really hard to have no character in a song but have passion. You follow me? So basically, character is your personality. Are you? Uh, a little John, yeah, yeah, you know, are you a little bit like that, or are you, are you more of like a quiet singer, are you kind of like the dude from like the Smashing Pumpkins, sings kind of like breathy, um, you know, that, that's all your personality, you know, hip hop definitely has way more, I would say it's got a different type of character to it, but there's a lot more character that's obvious between the ad libs and doubles and the choruses, etc., Whereas, you know, rock music, it's a different type of character because it's, uh, it's more moody. It's all more of the atmosphere and the ambiance. But, um, all right, cool. I have a session now, so I got to get ready for that. I'm going to be going till about 10 p.m. tonight. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. And if you like this video, by the way, feel free to share it, like, and comment. Thank you.